Hi guys, this is the other guy. <clears throat> so this is what happened. I went camping during Labor uh, Day weekend. I almost killed myself. And so I thought I'd make this video to educate you, to let you know what happened. Um, basically, I went camping, got my trailer on tow in the back of my truck. We, we went up to Mammoth Pooh area, okay, in, in uh, California here. Um, so basically, on a way home, well, the trip up was, uh, was fine. However, on a way home, basically this is what happened. Um, there was a hill, and it was a very, very windy road, okay? So I had just made a right turn on a windy road, going up on an incline, and... Uh, getting ready to make a left turn on the, on that windy road, okay. All of a sudden, my um, suspension fell out, and I had no control of my suspension. Okay, so this thing started dragging uh, on the ground, and the the wheel here basically uh, was up against my wheel well here. Okay, and I skidded about 25 to 50 yards. Okay, up the hill. Okay, I skidded, skidded uphill. Okay, and uh, so I was kind of ticked off and spooked. And the reason why I was spooked was because I had just replaced the lower ball joint here. Okay, and um, and the reason why I'm spooked was because prior to that. I had replaced the same ball joint and it gave out on me okay now the original Toyota ball joint didn't give out on me however the reason why I decided to replace the original equipment manufactured equipment was because it was old and the boot was cracking and leaking um, grease and I've been driving this truck for about 15 years now so I decided, you know, it's best to just replace it, and I did. So here's the story. Um, well, as, as you can see there, the drive shaft there is busted. Luckily, that's lifetime warranty. I could go get another one for free. Okay, so, um, and that's messed up right here too, upper ball joint. So I'm going to replace that and get it for free too. So uh, I want to show you something. So... I have three lower control arm uh, ball joint here, okay? And if you know Toyotas, this is, these holes right here, okay, are for the tie rod end so that you could steer, okay? So basically this thing steers like that, okay? It's attached to the tie rod ends. So let me tell you a little bit about this. This is the original equipped uh, manufacturer, uh, OEM uh, manufactured uh, part, okay, from Toyota. This part right here is made by Duralast, and uh, I bought it at AutoZone. Now this part is made by uh, MasterPro, and I bought it at um, I bought it at uh, uh, O'Reilly. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath because I'm spooked. Okay, and it goes like this. So, like I said earlier, my original um, part. Okay, had 170,000 miles on it, and I decided to replace it. It wasn't broken, however, the boot was cracking and it was leaking grease. So I decided, you know, what the heck, replace it. So I did. I took the original equipment the unit out, threw it away, replaced it with a Duralast product made by AutoZone. Okay, well, AutoZone sells it, okay, but made by Dur Duralast. So basically, um, I bought this unit here, installed it in March, okay, March of, the, of this year, 2016. Installed it in March, and I uh, uh, drove around with it, went off-road a couple times, and then I, in May, we decided to go up to Dinky Creek uh, with my uh, truck and the RV on tow, and uh, we parked up in Dickey Creek, and we decided we want to go off-roading up to Bald Mountain, okay? So we did that. 
when I drove it, when, when we arrived at Dinky Creek, it started making that squeaky noise, like a violin. Uh, it just goes like, <gasps> like that when, when we turn, when, when you turn the steering wheel, it makes that noise, the squeaky sound. Okay, so we decided, you know, it's okay, let's go off-roading anyway. Luckily, on the way to, Dink, uh, to the trailhead, uh, this ball came out. Okay. and it was dry as a desert it had no grease on it okay however this looks like that's how it was uh, when we were off-roading okay and that's how it looked like no grease no nothing okay so it had no grease no nothing in it it came out popped out and I was like what the freak so um that's the story for this one then while I was on the trail my brother came to town and bought this okay he bought this from AutoZone uh, from um, O'Reilly because O'Reilly was closer okay so this is made by Master Pro um, from O'Reilly and oh I'm sorry import direct this is made by import direct um, uh, from O'Reilly Okay, so we have Duralast, we have Import Direct, and we have the original equipment uh, manufacturer that I just bought to replace this stupid thing. So basically, I took it off roading one time, okay, and uh, came back, and then this past weekend, we uh, went camping up in the Mammoth Pooh area. Um, those of you who live in the Central Valley here knows where it is with my truck and my rig on tow all the way up there okay so while up while going up to the camping area there was uh you know it was just a regular um trip no nothing happened everything was normal and then it was time to come home okay it was time to come home and basically uh this is what happened uh, I was doing 25 miles an hour uh, up a little hill and I had just made a right turn on a right curve and then the road was winding straight going up and then making a winding left uh, curve and I was going up basically uh, my suspension fell out and the inertia with my RV on tow in the back of my truck here pushed me about 25 to 50 yards before coming to a dead stop and this is how it looks like so uh, I went outside and I looked my wife my kids were inside here my life flashed before my eyes my kids life flashed before my eyes my lovely wife uh, her life uh, flashed before my eyes I thought we were gonna die because um, of the momentum and uh, the inertia keeps pushing us forward and I had no control over the rig because we were just on the ground sliding um, on the on this side right here so I thought we were gonna die and so we finally came to a stop we when we when we stopped I went out and I saw this thing sheared off like that and you know I was spooked spooked to death and I'm still spooked right now and um, I don't even want to keep this truck anymore so when I got home I did some research on this the first generation Toyota Tundra this is the Achilles heel okay for the this generation of Tundra um, there's been recalls on the first generation Tundra from the year 2002 to 2004 However, for some reason, my, my 2000 uh, Tundra and 2000 uh, from, well, Tundra's between the year 2000 to 2001, uh, there's no recall on it. So I don't know why Toyota did that, but anyway, that's the story of my life. So, so what, what am I trying to get to here? Okay. My point here is don't buy do not do not buy AutoZone or, or O'Reilly's um, lower ball joints. If you're gonna do that, you're gonna end up being like me, left stranded, kill yourself, or 
or anything like that. So I'm thinking, you know, even right now, I'm thinking, what if this would have happened on the way down that treacherous road, okay, on road 200 um, from North Fork, uh, going down uh, on road 200 toward North Fork? What would have happened if this separated on that windy road with about 8 to 9 percent grade road and with a lot of horseshoe turn? What would have happened to my family? We would have been dead down the ravine um, because of this right here. So um, that's how that's why I am spooked. That's why my life, my family's life flashed before my eyes when this happened. Okay, so uh, that's what I have to say. Um, again, please do not buy any aftermarket uh, ball joint. I don't want you to uh, have the experience that I have. Okay, so please, please stay away from AutoZone and O'Reilly uh, parts. Stick with Toyota parts. Nobody is paying me to say this. I'm saying this out of my experience. Please, please do not buy any AutoZone, any uh, O'Reilly parts to replace your ball joints. Stick to the original manufactured um, parts. Okay, so that's all I have to say. I hope it's educational to you. Uh, don't be like me and find out for yourself. Okay, uh, take it from me. I've lived through two experiences, and I don't want you to live through yours. So please, 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 l let me be an example to you. Just buy original equipment parts from Toyota. Okay, bye-bye.